the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double Friday edition. It's continuing with Sakha Sukkah, Perik Dalit, Mishnah is Zoven Zion. Mishnah states, Kama Seba Bechol Kakma Seba Shabbos. The way they observed the Mitzvah Arava during the week, they also observed it the same way on Shabbos. El Yishu Malachan Osom Erev Shabbos. They wouldn't actually pluck it from the ground on Shabbos itself, you're not allowed to detach from the ground on Shabbos. They would take the Arava, which is a mitzvah del Reichs, every day during Sukkot, they would take it out of Shabbos. They would put it in golden vessels that were beautified, the mitzvah, golden vessels. It was a head of water in them, so they shouldn't dry out. He argues fundamentally, he says that there was no mitzvah of Rava, there was a mitzvah of Lulav, Shnei Lulav, and Pazik says, um, Kapos Tzmarim, Kapos is double language, so there was one Lulav for your Lulav and Esro, for the Dal and Minim, and one for the Arava. That's what they would place next to the Mizbeach. Oh, there's a Bekarka, but see the Mizbeach. They would <clears throat> put it up next to the Mizbeach, and on Hoshad Arba they used to beat it on the ground, that's the Minak to beat Arava on the ground. That day, Hoshan Rab was called the day of knocking the charios, the palm branches on the floor. We don't paskin like Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka. The halacha is that you use our rabba. Zayin miyad as you know, because shomten as lulavein ve'oklin as ragein. Once the davening was finished, the seder avodah was finished on the last day of Sukkot on Hoshan Rab. So there's two explanations to this. I'll give you this explanation. I think is the most correct. Tinokos shomten levein ve'oklin as ragein. The tinokos, right? The myth, the children who are not yet bar mitzvah, they have mitzvah of chinuch, right, to take the dal and meet him, they would drop the love and esrogim. Again, you don't have to, you don't have, you could throw them out. There's no problem throwing them out. You just can't step on them, vaz of the mitzvah. All right, then Marm Begillah says, Nizrach, in the mitzvah, which lulav and esrog were in Nizrach, and you can throw them in the garbage. Well, Oakland esrogim, the ketanim, right, the ones other mitzvah would eat their esrog. Now, why the gedolim wouldn't eat their esrog? The gedolim wouldn't eat the esrog because the esrog is huksa, is muksa, even though this is not normally the concept of muksa. Muksa really only plays on Shabbos. There's a type of muksa by muksa le mitzvasa, huksa le mitzvasa, was huksa for seven days for the mitzvah. Until the seven days fully elapsed, until shkia, you're not allowed to benefit from the esro, you're allowed to move it, but it was huksa la right? You're not supposed to eat it, otherwise you'd ruin the esro. So therefore, they could not eat the esro. But the tanim, even though they're higiyah lechinach and they're observing the mitzvah of dal minim, they're allowed to eat the esro because Muksa ostensibly is Darabanan. If it's Darabanan, they're not warned about it. And the question is, don't we say that that Ketanim Jidel Chinuch, if they have to take Dal Minim, Kedel Chancham, right? The Mitzvah is Chinuch apply by Darabanan. So why does the Mitzvah of Chinuch apply by Muksa also? I'll tell you my answer, Ian Mitzion, coming up next.